Um, here you can see a pretty classic example of overgrazing. The um, livestock are taking all the pick up here, but what's really critical is the what they're doing down here. And we're in October, uh, in September, and so we've still got a couple of months before the dry season finishes. And you can see all of these growing points on this perennial grass. And every time um, we get a bit of growth here, then the livestock just come along and pick it. And as a result, it's just reducing the root volume and taking the plant. The plant then uses its own resources, i.e. its root system and the carbon around it, to actually continue to recover from the constant um, attack by grazing animals. It's pretty likely that if we use good management here, smash down these with hooves so as to allow sunlight to get through here, we might have grass up a foot high, I don't know, I don't know this species, but um, you know we could have green grass here and an abundance of it and a much higher density. You can see over here there's another one here, there's another one just over here. So we've got a fairly low density and about one one of these every meter or so just in this small zone. So wouldn't it be great to um, have a management system that, uh, that you had beautiful green grass at this time of year? It's obviously pal palatable.